Hey Bob, um, this is Chuck Eddie and his daughter, um, Kelly, and Kelly does a live Facebook every Wednesday. It's called um, uh, Coffee with Kelly, and she did this interview with Chucky, and I thought it was interesting. I'll play it for you. I, I was on live when they did this, so I was interfacing with them a little bit, but check this out. Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm Kelly Eddie Verasco, Customer Relations with Chuck Eddie Automotive. And I have a surprise guest with me today, my dad, Chuck Eddie. So we just thought it would be fun. We could talk a little bit about the car business. Um, dad is <laughs> not quite used to Facebook yet, but um, I told him we have a lot of fun with our Facebook, a lot of fun talking about um, coffee and cars. I'm not and... used to Facebook at all. I know, me? I know. I'm just used to you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think if none of us had Facebook, you'd probably be a little bit happier. Let's see who joined us here. Someone's watching. It hasn't popped up yet. So every time there's a little eyeball at the top, it tells you how many people are watching Someone's while we're watching. live. So, um, hi, Joe Coon. How are you? Hi, Lindsay Johnston. Remember, Lindsay and her family lived across from us on Millbrook. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I thought it would be fun. One of the things that I like to talk about when we do the coffee with Kelly is the lake see that my dad and my grandfather had built um, our, our family, how close we are. And I thought maybe it would be fun if dad kind of talked for a second. She's Hi, a cousin natural, Richie, Bob. how are you? Richie boy. <laughs> so um, I thought dad could just talk a couple seconds and, uh, you know, maybe teach us something about the car business today. So go ahead, dad. Well, we, uh, we started here. My dad started with Chrysler back in 1957. And, um, his father and his uncle owned a filling station on 422 in Warren, Ohio. And uh, dad got his first start as a dealer in 69, so he built this place in 69. And when he did that, um, his dad, my grandfather, and his uncle, my great uncle, um, Ren and Chuck, Eddie, shut the filling station down. It was called uh, Eddie's Highway Service, right across the street from where the Eastwood Mall is right now, where the furniture land used to be. That was the Eddie property where the filling station was. And Unc and Gramps became Dad's first mechanics in 1969. So they started here then, and I was kind of bumming around here with a broom in my hand and a, and a hose and a bucket, and I was washing cars and pushing brooms with my grandfather and my great uncle were my first bosses in the shop and that was, goes all the way back to the early 70s and as time has gone on dad and i worked together for many years owned a couple of dealerships um partners in them and uh, my mother passed away grandma passed away here back a couple years ago and um and we started uh, uh dad and i started a buy sell so to speak and so now my boys my daughter and my two sons work in the dealerships i have brother-in-law, I have a sister, all of us. It's a real family-run business uh, with a lot of legacy to it. Four generations of Eddie's have been through here, starting with my grandfather and my great-uncle, then dad, then me, and now my kids. Very proud of them. Everybody works hard. Um, this is almost 50 years, same location, same franchise, same people who built the building, working in it, and uh, there's about 41 different rooftops in the Tri-County area, and we're the only ones that can say that. Same ownership, same family, same generations, same building, same brands. And um, that says a lot for what Dad started and um, and where we continue to take it um, with Dad's legacy. Dad's still around. He comes around every now and then just to make a little trouble. But uh, he helped sell some cars for us. And um, that's what we do. We're here about service. We love our community. We love the Youngstown area. Um, we have connections in Florida. We have connections in Arizona. We have ties, uh, Oregon, family all over the place, and uh, Pennsylvania. And yet we have chose to stay right here. We love the Mahoning Valley. We love the people. We're very, very privileged to have the people who come and see us and buy cars, trucks, or utilities off of us and continue to. The only way we've been able to survive in what we call a predominantly General Motors community because of Lordstown Assembly is because people supported the Eddie family. And so we, we know that. We don't take any of that for granted. And uh, my kids don't either. So we just, we work real hard at servicing everybody. So that's kind of our story. You, you know it. I, I do. I know it. But I thought it would be fun to hear it right from Dad. Um, 
Richie Hackett said, boy, do I remember those days. Oh, well, yeah. He said, Richie they both played. look great. Yep. And um, Ralph Fajak, our buddy, My the, buddy Ralph. Sa- the sassiest guy here in Youngstown, he said, you're a sassy man. Yeah. <laughs> That's my buddy. <laughs> So um, I just we thought it would be fun to do this. Um, I'm trying to figure out some different angles with the coffee with Kelly, talking about cars, coffee, community involvement, mobile app content. Hi, Mike Gamori. How are you? Um, Mike used to be one of our express lane technicians. Mike worked for us when we started our express lane here sure. at Bob and Chuck Eddie's. Uh, we love you too, Ralph. Thank you for watching us and. Um, you know, we were at an event last night for Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and one of the things that Dave Dravecki, the dinner speaker, talked about was the legacy. And in hearing Dave Dravecki talk about that, I thought it would be great today to have Dad talk about that legacy, talk about some of our memories. Um, and as if you know us, um, you know that we thrive on our family, we thrive on our friends, and we thrive on our com- relationships here in the community. And so thank you all for supporting us. Um, is there anything else, Dad, no, you want to no, add to that? No, no, no. Just so, thank, thank everybody. And yeah, Richie, um, um, Richie and Roddy and Bobby, um, I kind of grew up with those guys. They were from the Eddie side of the family. Those were my cousins. And uh, we have good memories from Warren and Holland. Those guys have all relocated in Florida and Arizona. And time's kind of evil, isn't it, Richie? It waits on nobody. So uh, we're all getting a little older now. We're gaining on our parents. Um, but uh, uh, my Uncle Rod and Aunt Pat have passed away, and my mom's passed away. But we've been blessed with wonderful memories, and Dad's still around. And so uh, we continue just to take care of the community and take care of our family. And uh, we're very blessed. The Lord has blessed us very immensely here in Austin Town. So thank you all. Good talking to all of you today. So have fun. Come out and see us at Bob and Chuck Eddie's. Enjoy a cup of our Hellcat coffee. Come and see us for cars. Download our mobile app. And we'll see you at Hot Rod Supernats for caffeine and gasoline. And you all make it a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Well done.